why is it the Democrats can't seem to accept results when they don't fall in their favor? I mean, it just happens over and over and over again, right? I mean, it's either Russia or it's an unfair election or, you know, the, they didn't count all the votes in Florida. I mean, I, by the way, I hadn't heard any Republicans complaining in Arizona. They uh, had quite a squeaker right there and they lost the Senate seat. Here with me now, Fox News contributor Deneen Borelli and liberal radio host Ethan Bierman. Ethan, to you first. I mean, what is it? Like, they always, they, they don't win. They, it's sour grapes over and over and over again. Well, in this case, we have some real serious issues. The Supreme Court in 2013 essentially dismantled the Voting Rights Act, and Secretary of State Kemp oversaw the election, his own election. The referee is the one who is in charge of deciding the game and controlling the rules of the game. That causes problems, and the exact match rule in Georgia is deeply problematic. Uh, mm -hmm. Stacey Abrams is right that there are problems with the process in Georgia. He did win, and he's now going to be Governor Kemp, and we all, admit, we all acknowledge that. But the issue is the exact <laughs> match. Uh, if I live on a, a, <laughs> well, it, but it's because the way that they did the exact match, that was a settlement with the ACLU that Kemp himself did. And then he went behind their back and went to the legislature and said, well, I know that the court settled and, and I said that we won't do this. So go ahead and pass a law that does what I just said we wouldn't do here in the state I, of Georgia. Deneen is shaking her head and shaking her <laughs> head. So I'm going to her for uh, the other side of things. Yeah. Deneen. So much to unpack here, Trish. Listen, listen the, the local and county officials are the ones who are controlled with the elections. Mr. Kemp did not have anything to do with it. On the other hand, I want to mention how much of a sore loser Stacey Abrams is. I mean, this so-called non-concession -con speech, who does that? Great example she's setting for our future generation. But, she but clearly did not have enough votes to uh -huh. win this election. And she is continuing to throw a temper tantrum on the public stage. But isn't that what and, happens? You know, right? Like, I, I, I hate to interrupt you because you're on a roll there, Deneen. But I, I mean, I've seen this movie play, <laughs> played out before. I, I, I have yeah. only to think of the 2016 election and Hillary Clinton, and we're still hearing how, you know, somehow it was Russia's fault. In other words, it, there seems to be a lot of finger pointing as opposed to saying, you know, maybe I need to offer the right policies to need. Maybe I need to make sure that I'm doing a better job to help my constituents to make sure that they have jobs and, and the ability to take care of their families and put food on the table. And they're not doing enough of that, but they're sure out there complaining. Sure. Well, listen, she is a progressive. Uh, she believes more in the power of big government than the individual. And with her throwing this temper tantrum, she has uh, really ignited the Hollywood elite mob who wants the uh, TV and film industry to boycott Georgia, who gets uh, the tax breaks in that industry. That's going to harm the local uh, citizens who have jobs in that industry. So she's hold hurting the voters as well. Yeah. You know, Ethan, I, I just... I worry about the country right now, okay? I, I worry, one, and we're going to talk about this later in the show, about how divided we are. But I, I worry as well about this direction uh, of the left. And, and I think that you can probably, I hope, have sort of a, a rational view on this because the sort of finger pointing and also the sort of increasing uh, element of socialism that, that's, that's creeping into your party right now, I don't think is healthy for the country. And so when I say I would prefer to see Democrats offer worthwhile policies and win fair and square as opposed to griping about it after the fact and they didn't like the way this went or that went, I, I think that it, it actually a lot of Americans might agree with me. Your thoughts? Well, I, I think the Democrats just won the House of Representatives on the message of health care and the fact that we want to make sure that people have access mm -hmm. to health care, are covered for pre-existing conditions. We are worried about things like infrastructure, and I'm hoping that we can come to an agreement with Republicans and come up with an infrastructure bill that will work <laughs> for Americans. <laughs> Don't um, hold your breath. It, it, I, I would love to see you guys do that. Any chance? I, I would love it, but I, I still think... I, I think so, but I, I still I want to go back to Georgia for a second. One person, one vote, that's a democracy, and if there's a, if there's a policy in place 
that minimizes people's ability to vote because they put a period on their DR instead of, and then wrote drive on the voter registration. But that's the law, that causes, Ethan. That is, that's the law and, in and Georgia. And it's not okay. And it, if the it, citizens want to okay. change and they that, they out have of the right you know, and the they flip side of that. to do that. Hang on, Ethan, the flip side of that is that they also have a, a law that says if you do not put your birth date down, the year that you were born, uh, your, your vote still counted. It's still counted, okay? So just to, to clarify, so maybe it works both ways. I've always been a little shocked by that because I thought, you know, hey, I mean, what if you're not even old enough to vote? But apparently your birthday doesn't matter. Um, Deneen, I want to make one quick correction. I don't know if I heard you correctly on this, but uh, I know that you said that she, they're really getting fired up, the Hollywood element uh, in Georgia, or rather about Georgia, and that they want to uh, boycott funding. For what it's worth, and I give her credit for this, Stacey Abrams has said no, she that's not the right move. That. Yeah, and, yes. and, and that's, that's good. And I would like to see more leadership like that than, than all the griping and the sour grapes we keep getting. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Deneen, Ethan, thank you so much for joining us tonight.